So still on this um, Timmy Dakolo story, there was another twist to it over the weekend as a singer took to his Instagram page to share a picture of alleged gunmen in a white bus right in front of his house, forcing their way in. According to him, he tagged the caption, strange men at my house, which of course signaled a threat to his life and that to his family. Yesterday also, there was a press conference organized by the family to this effect. Now, what are your general thoughts? Have you heard the story? If you haven't, we'll share with you. And you can call us on 070-8066-8014. Tweet to us on TPC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so you can share your views. All right, so this story obviously isn't well, ending no soon because um, according to Timmy Dakolo, um, the police came armed to deliver a letter. And I think in today's papers, the police did respond. There's the normal procedure of coming to you know, serve you uh, um, a letter. Sure. So why is this an issue? Did the, the, the armed men come down to attack, to try to attack him? He didn't say that. They were just armed in their buses. So why is that being misconstrued as an intimidation? He said they tried no, to intimidate him. According to the report in the paper this morning, he said his wife was trailed home by the same bus. <coughs> and, <gone. coughs> and one of them approached her and said, my girl wants to see you. And she insisted, I don't know yoga, I am not coming. As she was coming into the building, the gate of their house, the boss blocked the gate. She was only able to come in. For me, that's an intimidation. I think she also mentioned that they were not wearing uh, uniforms. Uniform. Uniform. Let us take a we clip, because to. I was told that there was a press conference yesterday, actually, mm -hmm. to address this issue. Let us watch this for a second, please. People that came to the house, they are not, nobody comes to drop letter with guns. Nobody comes to drop letter with the tinted glasses, men with guns, trailing a car. It's not, you not just come to drop letter. If my wife has insisted that this, first of all, someone said, um, when they came into the compound, followed my wife into the compound, someone said, uh, my ogre wants to see you in the bus. She said, no, I don't know your ogre, who are you? And they now said they wanted to give us a letter, that the letter was, um, because I've seen the bus, in my, from my, where I live, from my upstairs, I can actually see the bus. The bus has been parked in my, from, on my road for a, like, a long time, but I did not, it will not cross my mind. It will not cross my mind, like, ah, okay, these people are... So, so the, for the reason that as she, as she came out from the road and entered the road, enter, tried to enter my gate, the bus followed her and blocked my gate. It's a sign that these people have been, they've been trailing and following her. So it's not that police came to just drop a letter and go away. All right, so that's from Timmy Dakolo. Now, the question is, what's the procedure? to drop a letter. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? I mean, why are we making an issue out of something that could be possibly a normal police well, the, procedure? The mm -hmm. IG of police said that it was a normal procedure. It wasn't a warrant of arrest. It was, she wasn't being arrested. It was an it invitation. It was an invitation, mm -hmm. a letter of invitation. It didn't say it was a normal come. procedure. It just said it was an invitation. It, it was an invitation mm -hmm. dropped. Um, I feel, <laughs> what, I, what I see is this show of power. Now we have a culture that sees the, the military and the police protecting VIPs against the citizens. So I was, I was <laughs> driving on my road, and this is very similar to something like this. And because I was blocking the path of a VIP, a, pol a, a military official came down with his gun and was telling me, I'll puncture your tire, move away from the road, move away from the road. He was right. forcing me to another side. I have a cardiac issue. My heart was palpitating at that point. People can die from that. Mm. So when you bring a gun, on a case of you want to invite someone and you come with tinted vehicle and you come with ammunition, what exactly are we trying to communicate? So I know that you want to drop a letter of invitation, but and I don't understand the legality of who should be inviting the other because there was a, there's a case of Busola was the first person to um, make, make a Final case formal. Yeah. So why are we now getting, why is she the one being invited? Why, are, why is there this, this insinuation of there is power play and because right. you are highly connected, you can well, get anything done. We've heard to both sides. We've heard yes. Tim's side and the police side. So what, yes. what are your so, thoughts? Yes, I, I think too is a show of, um, you know, of power, uh, of force. It definitely smacks of intimidation. I mean, the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, also definitely thinks so as she tweeted that no intimidation and called the IG of police attention to, to the matter. Like, no intimidation, no rape. We must see that justice is done. And now this is not about taking sides of, or whose story should should we believe the thing is that the police must be seen to be doing his job and doing his job fairly yes. so is there uh, was the same letter and in the same manner given to 
the pastor as well. And you know, there was also a, uh, where he also mentioned that Dakolo saying that they were actually asking them to get in the bus to go to Abuja for this questioning. Mm. I mean, is that is that the, is that the procedure? I would. I mean, I have so many questions. I would like for the police to answer that. Okay. After she had filed hers here in Lagos, nothing had been done. The uh, pastor hadn't been called, and she he filed his. And immediately, you come to their house with guns and asking them so, to travel all the way. Let to me Abuja. let me take Joshua's call. Then I'll come okay. to you. Joshua, are you there? Yes. Yeah, good morning. Morning. Mario. Go ahead. And good morning to everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is purely an intimidation mm -hmm. from uh, the police. Uh, uh, force. This is really uh, uh, un unwarranted. Uh, I mean, Timmy Dakulo was uh, looking uh, disturbed. Uh, they, they went through a process of uh, reporting this matter. There was a video, and I'm surprised that they actually said they have incidented a report to the oh, police. Mm -hmm. The pastor in question has not been invited to the knowledge of the public. So why are they harassing the, the family? <coughs> what are they there for? Okay. With a tinted vehicle, which let us are they trying to bomb them? Uh, or don't uh, uh, we have not forgotten what was done to the one? So this matter should be uh, trashed out in court. Exactly. Not bringing letter to somebody's house mm -mm. and claiming that you are invited. Inviting for what? All right. What is the invitation about? Thank you very much, sir. So in this is sense. this in my years of practice, I have escorted clients to invitation at police headquarters. I've been to Alagbon with a client on an invitation, and I've not seen where it was delivered in this manner. So I don't know if it's the procedure. I do not believe it is. An invitation is something you give. The client came to my firm with the letter. A policeman dropped this at my residence, and there was no drama around it. So I would expect that, you know, because when Busola makes a report, she would have left her house address. So it's not like they're trying to ascertain whether she lives there. Mm. She I le I should have left her house address. They'll pick it up mm. and you, you use it for any correspondence that they need Going to give forward. to her. So if it is an invitation, it comes in a letter. She didn't need to be obstructed. No, there's no, they don't, they don't need to put a drama around it. Mm. They drop it off. But when you need to make an arrest, then you need to come in whatever boss or tinted, whatever way, with arms, if you think maybe the person thought, would resist. Yeah, maybe they so, thought he would resist. No, but this a, is an invitation. resist the collection of the, of the letter. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, this is Nigeria now. So if they thought he would resist the <laughs> invitation <laughs> letter, maybe then. But then if what it's an arrest. With a, tint, with a tinted? No, 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 no. Whatever vehicle they use is what I, they I have. Want us to discuss yeah. the what procedure. they have is what they will use. But yeah. what they, just asking. one yeah. officer is mm. enough to make a civil mm. Um, and deliver a civil yeah. letter to a, okay. I, I was and at you know a, a face off with a policeman. I was coming and it was that place was supposed to be a checkpoint. Mm -hmm. And he stops in front of my car with a, with an AK forty seven. Stop, that stop, stop. And it was okay. only me, me in the car. Of course I resisted and we had a you know back and forth and I called. Let me take this call very quickly before we're gonna break. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm in this case. Morning, Joseph, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Why is this that Kulu and the pastors issue be coming to go out of place. The Akulos are the only ones speaking. They are the ones that have led the complaint. The pastor has not come out to make any official statement. Now the police are in it. You, you can't say for certain. Whatever they say they want to do. It's not right. The pastor should come out. If he says he's a man of God, let him tell his side of the story. Let him come out clean or whatever. It's simple. If you know you've done it, apologize. And all these things will come to an end. And if he did not do it, Tell the whole world he did not do it and go to court and prove yourself. I said he didn't do it. The mm -hmm. country did it years ago. He's in, he's in an American police a, a jail now. So why is it, why all this threat and whatever? Everything in Nigeria is always upside down. <laughs> police, you want to deliver a letter in a tinted class. Somebody came to complain of rape. There's, there's, there's a lot of. Uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Mm -hmm. Joseph. I guess the issue here is the issue of intimidation. Yes, we're not saying don't deliver a letter. It's how the letter has been delivered.